If you still haven't seen my puchero or chicken and vegetable soup recipe video that I did a few weeks ago, be sure to check it out. Puchero is an absolutely delicious dish. It's one of the staples of Argentine and Uruguayan cuisine. And the best part, or at least one of the best parts, is the broth. In fact, usually in Argentina, when you serve puchero, you take the meat and the vegetables out of the soup and put that on a platter so that when you sit down at the table, everyone can serve themselves off of the platter. And then the broth you eat separately. You can either just take it on its own or you can use the broth in other recipes like what I am going to do. You can use this to make oatmeal, which I know sounds kind of odd if you're in the United States, but it's really good because the broth is salty, sweet from the butternut squash. It has some of the flavor of the onions and the other vegetables and some of the chicken fat. So it's really flavorful. It makes for a sweet oatmeal that's unlike anything else. You can also use it to make semolina or you can use it how I am going to use it today, which is to make pasta. Here I have my leftover broth from puchero that I made yesterday. All of the large pieces of vegetable have been removed. All the chicken, it's just broth, and then the bits of the vegetables that fell off into the broth. I would say it's probably two to two and a half, maybe three cups. And here's the pasta. I am using three quarters of a cup or 80 grams of whole wheat rotini. You can use whatever you want to use, but I just really like rotini, so that's what I'm going to use. I am going to turn this on now. I'm going to turn it on high, bring it to a boil, and then once it starts to boil, I'm going to add my pasta. And in just a few minutes time, the broth is now boiling. Like I said, it has a lot of butternut squash and other flavors, so it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to add my 80 grams or 3 quarters cup of whole wheat rotini. And now I am just going to boil. If I remember correctly, I usually cook this on high for about 20 minutes. At the beginning, I don't stir, but once the broth starts to reduce through the evaporation, I add a little bit more water. What I like to do with this is I like to make it kind of a creamy broth, almost like butternut squash soup with pasta. So I don't want it to be too thin. That's why I'm not adding a ton of water now, but I don't want it to be too thick so it's kind of a happy medium I'm sorry I can't give you more exact instructions more exact ingredients but a lot of it's going to depend on the size of your pot if it's really wide then you might need to add more water so that the pasta is submerged if you save more broth then you won't need to add as much water so honestly, I think this is kind of trial and error. But if you're making oatmeal, all you have to do is boil the, if it's instant oatmeal, all you have to do is just boil the broth and then pour it over the oatmeal and it's done. And that is absolutely phenomenal. And just in case you are wondering, this is a Rachel Ray pot that I got for a very low price, I actually got it at, gosh, what's that place called? Goodwill. I got this at Goodwill. I was in need of a small pot, and I really like it. It's amazing what you can find when you look. I usually make my lentil soup in this pot. It's a healthy lentil soup, because even though I do eat a lot of cakes, I don't eat a whole cake every day. So, at some point in the future, I'm probably going to do a this is what I eat in a day video or something like that because I know people would like to know what I eat normally. And this is something that I don't eat all the time because it's a lot of quilombo to make puchero, 
but this is something that is relatively healthy and is good. So I will bring you back later. As you can see, all I'm doing is just stirring it occasionally. And the water hasn't gone down that much, but just to show you, I add a little bit at a time. You just want to make sure that the pasta is always submerged and that it doesn't stick to the bottom. It's been about five minutes. And as you can see, the pasta is starting to show a little bit in the broth. And when I stir it, it's more obvious that more of the liquid has evaporated. See, it's really sticking out over there. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water maybe a third of a cup at a time. This is kind of a delicate balance between enough liquid and not enough liquid. It's been about 15 minutes now. I tasted the pasta and it's still a little bit hard in the center, but it's almost done. Honestly, at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit more water, but I'm gonna be very careful because I think this only has a few more minutes and I don't want the pasta to be swimming in the water because like I said, I like it to be kind of thick. So I'm just gonna keep stirring, keep a really close eye on it. And like I said, if you taste this and it tastes almost done and it's like this, do not add a ton of water because you won't have enough cooking time left to boil off the water. It has now been 20 minutes and the pasta is done. In total, I probably added three quarters of a cup of extra water over the course of the cooking time, but I think this is perfect. You can see the rotini, it's just barely exposed in the water. That means that it's going to be thick enough for my liking, but not too thick is not going to be swimming, it's just perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get out my ladle to serve this. I did not include this in the original Puchero recipe video because I thought that video was already kind of long. So that's why I am doing this now, but look at that absolute beauty this is delicious as it is or if you want to jazz it up a bit you could add some lemon zest or i'm gonna be honest people who watch my channel know that i have a sweet tooth i have been known to add sugar to this if the butternut squash isn't quite sweet enough for my taste i will add sugar to this i'm not gonna lie but yes this is Fairly healthy thing, great way to use the broth because a lot of the nutrients from the vegetables are in the broth. And even if you don't want to go through all the quilombo of making puchero, you could get some frozen butternut squash and just boil it until it breaks down. Maybe add some onions and stuff in there as well or just some vegetable stock and you can make this pasta. Boil some chicken in there as well or on the side with the vegetable stock and you have this butternut squash broth pasta awesome now i'm just waiting for it to cool down you can see how thick the broth is can't remember if i mentioned it but i boiled the pasta on high for 20 minutes stirring most of the time not so much in the beginning but definitely when it looked like the broth was getting low this will be fantastic like i already said using the leftover butternut squash and chicken broth from the puchero to make whole wheat pasta is incredibly delicious although this recipe works great with puchero i think you could use the leftover broth from most soup recipes, or maybe even leftover stew. If you make a big pot of super stew and you want to stretch it out over a few days without getting bored, try using the leftover liquid to make another dip. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. For more information about Argentinian food and southern recipes, please visit my website parnaldechef.com and be sure to follow me on social media. Right now, I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!